When you're afraid, what do you get the urge to do? For most of us, when we are afraid, we get the urge to withdraw, run away, or hide. This makes a lot of sense when there's danger. However, a lot of things we are afraid of aren't really dangerous. But trying to escape or avoiding those things may be. For example, many of us may feel afraid of entering a new relationship. This makes sense given our history with relationships. But acting out of that fear prevents us from finding happiness in a new relationship. Acting opposite means doing the opposite of what you feel like doing. Before we can do this, we must first identify and name the emotions we are feeling. Each emotion has an action urge to match. For example, when you are angry, the action urge is to attack. When you're sad, the action urge is to withdraw from people and or activities. And when you're worried, the action urge is to run away and hide. Next, check in with your wise mind and ask yourself, is acting on the emotion I am feeling going to be helpful? If acting on your emotion is not going to be helpful, identify what will be the opposite to the action urge of the emotion you're feeling. For anger, the opposite of yelling or attacking would be to walk away. For sadness, the opposite of withdrawing would be to get active or involved. And for feeling afraid or worried, the opposite to running away and hiding would be approaching or confronting the situation. Once you've identified what the opposite action would be, act on it. By acting opposite, we can actually change how we feel. Let's go through an example. This is Marie. Marie was in an emotionally and physically abusive relationship and recently broke up with her boyfriend John after the cops were called the last time he assaulted her. She's been feeling very sad, lonely, and guilty. Let's see if we can help Marie feel better. We know Marie is feeling sad and guilty, but does feeling guilty fit the facts of the situation? Marie was not responsible for John's choice to get violent. We are only responsible for the choices we make. Reminding herself of this might help Marie feel better. Next, Marie needs to identify her action urges. When she is feeling sad and guilty, she gets the urge to stay in bed, cry, watch sad movies, and ignores her friends and her responsibilities. Acting on sadness is not helpful for Marie, and crying makes Marie feel worse. So now we need to identify the opposite of her action urges. To act opposite, Marie needs to get out of bed, stop thinking about John, and get active. Marie calls a friend and makes a plan to go to the park despite the fact that she doesn't feel like seeing anyone. Being outside and with her friend makes Marie feel a little bit better. It's not easy for Marie to act opposite of how she feels, but by acting opposite, Marie was able to change how she felt and get back on track. Way to go, Marie. 